Good evening everyone. So today we're taking a look at a remodeled station. This is the King's Cross 14th Street station. And we are going through this station prior to its basically remainder of construction. So King's Cross 14th St Street station is one of the oldest stations in the KRTA network. If you see construction materials lying about, please excuse us, the station is still under construction. So back to what I was saying, King's Cross 14th Street station is one of the oldest stations in the network. It was in the first five groups of stations. Originally, this station was to serve the same purpose as Grand Central Hunter College, but was decided that Grand Central Hunter College should be placed in a more central location. After many years of lying abandoned, it was decided to reopen the lower levels of the station for north and southbound service. Citing legal issues though, as far as the bottom platforms not having adequate access to emergency exits in case there were to be a fire, it was decided that the station would be closed entirely. So for many years, King's Cross 14th Street station sat abandoned. Upper level and lower level and everything. And now, in recent times, it has been decided that since there has been technological improvements, it, it, it's best that it's now time to reopen the station. The bottom level is set to open within the year, while the top level is almost finished. Seeing how this is one of the oldest stations on the network, and this station, although having a very similar footprint to Grand Central Hunter College Station, was the first transfer station on the network, a lot of the old works are remaining. So here we are on the lower level platforms, which services the north and southbound lines. So on this particular platform, part of the reason why it was decided by the government to close the station is due to the only nine foot wide platform. A nine foot wide platform is, was deemed in fact to be very unsafe for a transfer station. As of now, this station will one day reopen to serve the purple, the red, and the two train. Yes, the number two train will stop at this station on the upper level. And yes, there is an upper level. It was just abandoned the entire time. There's also been concerns about the platform screen doors and how close in proximity they will be to the railing. There are concerns if anyone would even be able to pass between the railings and the doors. This particular station shares a very similar blueprint to the Grand Central Hunter College Station. This is actually what the inside of Grand Central Hunter College looks like back in the same decade where this station was built. Grand Central Hunter College has the same mezzanine but of course has been renovated today and a skylight was added to the one at Grand Central. At Grand Central there was never a decision to build the upper level and the transfers 
on top of the north and south lines. It was decided that the east line, which at the time ran from Benterville National Prison Institute, which is now known as Thomasville, all the way to Richmond Avenue and Children's Museum, which is now just known as Richmond, it was decided to place the east and the westbound tracks underneath the north and the southbound tracks. It was also decided to put the purple and the red trains on top of each other instead of side by side. With those crucial improvements, that is what made Grand Central Hunter College the very efficient station we know and love today. Thank you so much for watching this video of the KRTA in focus. We are renovating many of our stations and routes to make your ride a more convenient experience. If you have any questions, please check out our website, krta.org. Remember to wear your masks and stay safe. Stay six feet apart from others on our trains, buses, and streetcars. Thank you and have a wonderful day.